Region 3 is composed of seven provinces, namely Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Tarlac, and Zambales. The region is well known for its historical landmarks, charming ancient homes and churches, serene natural wonders, spiritual attractions, vibrant festivals, swimming, and a variety of themed activities, as well as large range of exquisite local crafts and delectable treats. First, we have the beautiful province of Aurora. Balur in Aurora province is known for attractive land and seascapes and a rich cultural history. A single visit will demonstrate how full of natural beauty it is, making it an ideal location for instance a stressed out artist to retreat to and find inspiration in. The first artist village in the Philippines is currently taking shape in the secluded Tika Salarin Pub, a communal space where developing Filipino artists can gather together to learn from specialized workshops or simply find solace away from the madding crowd of city life. Aurora also has a historical landmark such as the Church of Baler, which was rebuilt in 1700s. They also celebrate the Coco Sabutan Festival wherein Sabutan products like fans, hats, caps, and bags are promoted and featured in the festival. Let us now discover the beauty of Zambales. As Filipinos, some of the things that might come first to our mind is the province's beautiful beach destinations and coves, but it is unknown to many that this place can also be a home for art enthusiasts. They are rich in artworks, they develop their culture with street arts, crafts, festivals, pottery, and paintings. Elmer Bolongan from San Antonio Zambales is a prominent contemporary Filipino painter best known for his distinctive use of figurative expressionism. He was recognized as a contemporary artist in 1994. Welcome to Tarlac, dubbed as the melting pot of central Luzon by the National Commission for Culture and Arts. Over the years, Tarlac has become a multicultural province filled with vibrant heritage thanks to its distinct ethnic groups present. Tarlac Art Fair at Diwan and Tarlac provide you with local arts and cultural scene. The first ever Tarlac Art Fair aims to acquaint the public with their province take on Philippine contemporary art. Pieces in the collection provide a wide array of styles such as realism, expressionism, figurative, and abstract as well as themes that reflect personal, social, environmental, and political issues affecting their community and the nation. The collection is set to showcase their unique vernacular, rich history, and the heritage of their people in hope that this endeavor can promote more regional artists and also inspire younger artists to get into the arts. Beautiful Bulacan They are also rich in arts, crafts, and festivals. Singkaban, the local term for bamboo arches, which is used as a welcome signage of a town, city, or village in the country. Famous architectural landmark in Bulacan. Barasuain Church is a Roman Catholic church built in 1888 in Malolos, Bulacan. It is popularly known as the seat of the Malolos Congress of September 15, 1898 and the site of the First Philippine Republic in January 23, 1899. I live in San Rafael, Bulacan, and our municipality has recently recognized a heritage house as well. This was recognized as a National Heritage House by National Historical Commission of the Philippines as it was built in 1890 and was nicely preserved by the owner. Bulacan also has numerous festivals that tourists, both local and foreigners, would love to witness and join in, such as Sambuklod Festival, Halamanan Festival, Singkaban Festival, and many more. Even in San Rafael, Bulacan, we celebrate the Angel Festival in honor of our patron saint, Saint Rafael. We are now here in Nueva Ecija. They are also rich in artworks including festivals, crafts, paintings, and other contemporary arts. Heber Gonzalez Bartolome is a Filipino folk and rock singer, songwriter, composer, poet, guitarist, bluesman, and painter from Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija. He pioneered relevance in contemporary songs reflecting socio-political issues of the times. Gapan Church, also known as the Parish of the Three Kings in Gapan City, is one of the biggest and the oldest churches in Nueva Ecija. This Roman Catholic Church was built in 1800s. Moving on to Pampanga. There is no doubt that Pampanga has a very rich culture and tradition. Pampanga features the Giant Lantern Festival and the city has been known as the Christmas capital of the Philippines. 
Its special feature is its dancing lights in several shapes and colors that form intricate geometric patterns. There are 10 arts that the province is also famous for, namely the Kuran Ambong Paso, Pukpuk, Dukit, Parul, Burarul, Dase, Kupia, Santos, Gitara, and Gawang Pande. These said arts can be seen widely in the different parts of Pampanga. Every art represents a municipality or city where they are most practiced. Bale Balean Angeles, Pampanga the center that gives opportunities to their indigenous musical instruments and values for them to be knowledgeable about their Filipino kapampangan. This is an opportunity for them to engage in arts and culture for free. Let's now check out the wonderful Bataan. Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar, a heritage preservation project that involves their construction, restoration, and collection of historical Spanish Filipino houses like the Rafael Enriquez E. Villanueva mansion that was built in 1867. The vast land has over 40 heritage houses that were resituated and rebuilt. The old meets the new. One of the strongest factors that influence the work of an artist is their environment. Jam, one of Jose Acuzar's daughters, owner and founder of Las Casas de Filipinas de Acuzar, has a supplementary vision of her own for Las Casas. My dream was basically to provide a space for contemporary art in a heritage-inspired location, she says. Hosting artists' residencies and providing a space of experimentation and support to contemporary artists, the Bellas Artist Projects creates a rich environment for artists to collaborate and gain inspiration from the abundant Filipino heritage, culture, and traditional craftsmanship on site. This place is also used to film historical films such as the famous teleserie adaptation of Maria Clara at Ibarra on GMA. Bataan is also known for its Abukay Church or the St. Dominic de Guzman Parish Church which was established in 1587 and administered in 1588 by the Dominicans. It is also an example of Renaissance architecture. And that is how rich in arts and culture my region is. It has shown a variety of contemporary arts that foster learning, adaptation, and ongoing development. Don't forget to study the contemporary artists in our country who have made significant contributions to the development of contemporary arts. Without them, we would not be able to witness and experience the art we have today. Let their vast styles and artworks enlighten us about the social issues and inspire us to find solace and happiness through art and to be as creative as they are. We should also aim to build a world where history is preserved by showing and appreciating it rather than keeping it. Art preserves a message or a memory that cannot be immortalized through historical records or documentations alone. The whole point is to get people to understand that art should be viewed and experienced and talked about. This is how we can promote and preserve art at the same time. I am Isabel Andy and I'd like to invite everyone to try and check out the different artistic forms that our region has to show and offer. Thank you!